brings us three four minute rounds of mixed martial arts 155 pound weight limit in the lightweight division the bout sponsor is hit the electronic cigarette and controlling the action in the middle of the ring is gasper oliver introducing first from the blue corner out of confiance bjj new york trained by david lang Wearing the black and yellow trunks, he weighed at 154 and a half pounds. From Bath, New York, welcome, please, Justin, the Juggernaut Stewart. And coming out of the red corner, from Belmore Kickboxing, MMA, and Scarola, BJJ. Trained by Keith Trimble and Joe Scarola. Wearing the black and red trunks, he also weighed at 154 pounds. From Wanta, Long Island, wearing the hit logo shorts, he is one of the most decorated wrestlers in MMA history. A four-time All-American, one-time NCAA National Division I champion. Welcome, please, Gregor, the gift, Gillespie! Gregor Gillespie as Peter Neglia just put it. Four-time national NCAA champ, comes in 3-0, 28 years of age. Looks like he's getting ready to get shot out of a cannon, black and gray tights. These guys look serious. <laughs> Justin Stewart, black trunks, yellow trim. Casper Oliver in charge of the chaos in the cage, slated for three fours at 155 pounds. See Greg going for the single leg already. Well, when you're a three or four time national champ in wrestling, right. that's your bread and butter right there. Right, right. This kid's also a fast rising kickboxer. They're both 28 years of age, and this is Stewart's pro debut. He was 3 and 1 as an Ami. Yep, yep 3 and 1 as an Ami, fighting out of uh, Bath, New York. Call him the juggernaut, believe it or not. A good fighter. And you see, and he's wasting no time. I mean, he's not afraid to meet Gregor head on. Good knee right there. They exchange knees. Probably have to be weary to not let this fight good shoot in by Gregor. That you don't want this fight to go down to the ground. Right, with the kind of credentials that Gregor has. I mean, the kid is dangerous. There's no doubt about it. Also, the ebb and flow of fight. If you do see that, you might be down. You might want to take some chances. Then you might have to be the aggressive, and you might have to shoot in. But these are the kind of fighters where, when they have this type of wrestling background, they can wreak havoc yes, they against can. anyone. Absolutely, yes, they can. And I was talking with Justin about that, and uh, he understands that Gregor is a you know world class wrestler. Uh, but you know, he says he did not come to f he did not come to lose. He came to win. It's a battle of wills right now, early on in this first round. Stewart, his first pro fight, 28 years of age. Sometimes they might deem that as a late start to the game. A lot of times, though, some, there's inactivity. It's hard to get fights. Some of these guys have families. They work. They own gyms. They train others. They work nine to five. So like, all the credit in the world to get the training in and have an opportunity to have a pro debut. Yep, absolutely. And to do it on the 50th edition Our of Luneglia's Ring of Combat. You see Gregor just taking his time. You know, he knows what he's trying to do. And he was warned a couple times too by Gasparover, get the hands off the cage, can't use it for leverage. They try to be sneaky. They try to right. quickly just tap, tap, tap. Just Helps with a little bit of adjustment, momentum, balance. Gregor getting the move. back. Yeah, great move. Got the hooks in again. Buck 20 to go. This is where Stewart doesn't want to be. Gillespie now raining Hard down shot. some haymakers. Stewart's covering up. Hard Could be a shots. quick throw debut. That's it. Oh, mercy, it's over. Greg Orr goes to 5 and 0. Oh. Pardon me, 4, four and 0. Oh. 4, four and, and 0. Oh. Quick work. You know, there was an article that was written about Gregor before this fight asking, what do you know about your opponent? And he says, he doesn't do that. He doesn't research the opponent. He comes to do what he does best, and that's win. And that was quite evident just now. And hey, give Justin Stewart credit for taking a fight. Pro Absolutely. debut going against 
a three or four time national uh, uh, NCAA wrestling champion, a guy who's already three and zero, oh, and already has obviously more cage time than right. Justin Stewart does. It's tricky. You got to watch those guys with those wrestling backgrounds. They <laughs> will just they will wreck a fight. <laughs> they are dangerous. There's no doubt about it. So it was an early tap out in this one in the first round. So we take a look at the finish by Gregor Gillespie. You see Gregor has the complete dominance over uh, Justin through his back, just raining down hard shots, hard shots. Left, right, left, right. The end, I mean, I think he senses that the end was coming, and sure enough, there it is. Referee stops in, jumps in. It, it was good stoppage. All right, we'll make it official. We'll go inside the cage. Peter Neglia. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight was stopped at 2 minutes and 51 seconds in the first round. Referee stoppage due to unanswered strikes. The winner came out of the red corner, Greg Gore. The gift, Gillespie, Gillespie out that winner. So Greg Gore improves to 4-0. and oh. Justin Stewart loses his pro debut, and again, unanswered strikes, and you saw it. You cover up, but you're not, you're not answering back to right. those blows, and when you cover up like that, you're protecting yourself. You got one of the best in there in Gaspar Oliver, so it was a good, Absolutely. It was a good stoppage at 251 of round number one. We mentioned it, those wrestling backgrounds can be dangerous. Absolutely, I mean, you see Gregor with a quick shot in, uh, working his way, and here's the end. Has, to, has the back of Justin just raining down those shots, and those are hard shots. I mean, being live, you know, watching on TV does not do it justice, and that was hard. Those were hard. That was da those were damaging blows. And the blows accumulated to another win for this young man. He goes to four and zero. Oh.